This is a 2007 Komatsu PC50 MR2 excavator. Alternator went out on it. I ordered this one from like Tractor Parts Online or something like that. It was a $165 shipped to my door. The Komatsu dealer wanted $800 uh, for a Yanmar uh, factory replacement. And that one would have been reconditioned. This one is brand new, aftermarket, same amperage, same everything. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy put on. I've got a charger on it because the alternator has been so weak. The battery's been dying. So um, you see, we got the battery disconnected. That's gonna be the first uh, step to this. And then the uh, alternator itself is down here. It looks like it's just held on by two little bolts right here. We got connection here. Should be a pretty straightforward install. On the PC50 MR2, it looks like the bolts that hold on the alternator are a 12 millimeter. Start by showing it any of that. Well, you don't need to see me unbolt it, but you're gonna go ahead and unbolt the top and bottom bolts. Come on, dude, there you go. Top and bottom bolts, remove the electrical connections. There's a plug on the back, as well as uh, you got this guy right here, plus the plug, uh, pretty straightforward. You're gonna loosen up this top nut right here, and then that allows you to be able to move this alternator back and forth to get the belt off of it. Uh, so just make sure that you don't let the belt uh, get taken off of everything. Uh, just get it taken off of the alternator so that it's easy to put back together. Here is the top 12 millimeter bolt, a couple of washers. The bottom bolt is different. It is a 14 millimeter. So your top one is a 12 and your bottom bolt is a 14. The nut that you need to unscrew from this part right here on my machine was a 10 millimeter. So that bottom nut right there, it's pretty cute because the Komatsu decided to put a nut on the back, but there wasn't a nut on the top one. It's also a 14 millimeter. So the bottom bolt needs a 14 millimeter on both sides of the bolt. And the top one just needs the 12 millimeter. And here is the bottom bolt, the 14 millimeter with the nut, 10 millimeter that goes on the electrical and then the 12 millimeter that goes on the top. Here they are side by side. The clip on the back of this thing, what I ended up doing was I just grabbed it with some pliers on this side and this side. So, you know, here, not here. I uh, just picked it up with some, they were actually channel locks and just kind of jiggled it like that a little bit and that got it to come off. There are no like screwdrivers that you gotta pull to undo the tab or anything like that. It's just jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. So now we'll do the opposite steps to get the new one back in and we're good to go.